I had a severe gut infection and uh, after speaking to my doctor he said to get me to uh, RPA as soon as possible and uh, when I was there I was dangerously ill and uh, while I was there I, uh, I had a stroke. Um, my leg came back and uh, the rest of my body came back but my arm and hand didn't. The hospital recommended that I get myself to uh, Royal Rehab for my rehabilitation. It was quite a strong recommendation. I was very impressed with the place. You could tell it was well run and the staff were fantastic and magnificent. The OTs, the physios, the nurses, they do a wonderful job and uh, they, they do it out of human kindness. I don't know how you could do it any other way. It was quite an experience uh, being here. Hi, I'm Rick and I'm a former patient of Royal Rehab. I'm also the founder of the Royal Rehab Future Fund. Rick, when you first came to us at Royal Rehab, you weren't able to use your arm for anything really. You didn't have any power in the arm or be able to lift it, move it around. You were able to repair those connections and the tech kept on moving with you to be able to practice more complex movements that weren't just up and down or side to side. And I think without the tech, you wouldn't have had maybe the opportunity to make that therapy process so interactive and be able to get so far. And, and it's great to see you today and how far and how you've been able to use your arm. Royal well, Rehab was, was born from philanthropy. It's, uh, it was all of that that made it happen. And uh, I see the Future Fund being a continuation of that. How it came about is that we, uh, we had our own family foundation, the Gibson Family Foundation. It was a way of, uh, you know, I suppose giving back and, and uh, it was also a way of involving my three sons in, in learning to give. Uh, our, our fund is managed by the ACT Public Trustee through Greater Good and uh, I was involved in Greater Good as a board member from its inception. We decided to actually give all the earnings from our family fund to Royal Rehab. They have a huge need here to uh, get this new technology in and we thought well you know we, we could do so much more with this. If we could harness the, the friends of Royal Rehab and the past patients you know like me we could all give a bit and we could grow this fund into something big. The purpose of the fund um, is to secure the future for Royal Rehab Foundation um, in perpetuity. It's a fund that allows an annual disbursement back to the foundation that will help provide more equipment and more services for those who need. So anybody that puts any sort of cash into that fund goes towards helping others, whilst obviously there's uh, tax deductible components to that for them. I was actually on this machine a little bit Yep. and uh, it was great, I mean it's all about retraining the brain and uh, it, it does it, it works. And, you know, we've got to get people back into life, hopefully back into work. And of course the fund um, will help fund bits of equipment here and other life work centres around Australia. So far the Future Fund's already released a dividend uh, to help LifeWorks in Cairns. A great piece of equipment to help with neurological injury has been put in place and that piece of equipment helps train those post-stroke or post other neurological injury in their dexterity and getting back to a better life. That's a very simple way of the fund allowing us to do more for more people and that's just the start. When you give money, it stays there, it actually grows, and it's only the earnings that go back to the, to the foundation. It's an opportunity to, you know, to leave a legacy, and uh, it, you know, there'll be people benefiting from your generosity long after, long after we're all gone. With your donation, we could do a whole lot more in a whole lot more places around Australia. Winston Churchill said, you can make a living by what you earn, but you can only make a life by what you give. And together, we can make an enormous difference to people's lives, putting them back together. <laughs>